Hello everyone, this is me Mehdi Hassan. Welcome to my 12th RTIS tutorial. At first, let us see our today's task. Our today's task is to conduct a suitability analysis test to find the most suitable sites for the construction of a new school in USA. So let's jump jump into the uh, to this task. Uh, at first, let us open our uh, art map. Here is our art map and. Uh, at first, let us input our data, given data. So these are the our given data. In our given data, we can see there are uh, two vector files. That is, one is uh, recreational sites and the second one is school. These are given mm -hmm. in point. And uh, we have given two raster files. That is, one land use and the other one is elevation. So after uh, inputting the data, we have to go to the geoprocessing for setting our environment from here. Okay, in our environmental environment, we'll, in our pro process extent, we will select our snap raster as our land use because we want to select our uh, site. Uh, we want to select our site for a school uh, based on the land use. It could be a, a barrel land, agricultural land, and many more. And then we'll go to the raster analysis here, and from here we'll select our cell size according to same as layer land use. Okay, our environment is set. Uh, we don't have to do any more uh, another any other things uh, here. Uh, we'll click just click OK. Now we have to set. Uh, uh, now we have to set this uh, environment uh, because uh, if accidentally our uh, software is crashed, our environment will be deleted. So we'll save the environment. For that, we'll go to the file and save as. Okay, we'll give it a name. Suitability analysis. And click OK. So, so our environment is safe, uh, and now uh, we'll move to our next step. Now we have to change our elevation into the slope. For that, we have to go to the search uh, search option. We can go to the geoprocessing. From here, we'll search for tools. That is slope. Okay. From here, we'll select slope special analysis. From here. And uh, here in our input raster, we'll select elevation because we want our elevation to convert into the slope to see the slope. Okay, and uh, everything will be all, uh, as similar here in output measurement. There will be degree. Okay, and the z factor will be one. This is a default, and we'll give it a name uh, slope elevation. So we can click simply click OK. Okay, this is our uh, this is our uh, slope map. For better understanding, we'll highlight our sites and school from mm -hmm. here in the symbology. Let's make it bigger. We'll also bigger mm -hmm. the school from here. Okay, now we have given the our recreational sites uh, and we will make a raster for this recreational site by measuring some distance. Okay, for that we will go to the uh, search option again and search for a new tool. The tool name is Euclidean distance. Okay, in our Euclidean distance, we find the nearest distance from the, our, our source file. Here in our input feature, the, we, we want the distance from the recreational area. So we we'll select our recreational sites and give it a name. Okay, in our environment, we'll change our environment in raster analysis. We we'll set our mask as 
to land use and click OK. That should be OK. Uh, we have a problem here. We will go to the the mask was didn't detected by the land use. So we go to the geoprocessing and go to the result, and then we will change our environment again from here. External analysis. Now we will select our Euclidean distance tool from here and now in our input input raster we want to the we want the distance from the recreational, recreational sites so we will select the recreational sites and give it a name recreation distance from recreational sites okay, in our environment we we'll go to the process extent and here in default we will select set as land use because we want the we want the our Euclidean distance from uh, as the land use from the recreational sites. We we'll select here from as land use, same as land use, and in our raster analysis, raster analysis we will select our mask as land use. Okay, now we we'll click OK. So we got our desired raster, and this shows the distance from the uh, recreational sites of the schools um, of the possible uh, sites for the schools. Okay, now we'll do the same things for our school. We'll select our Euclidean distance again, and in, now in our info feature, we'll select our school, school, and then go to the environment and select in process extent. We'll select same as layer land use and in a uh, raster analysis we will mask it as land use and click ok so this is our another raster uh, that shows the distance from this course ok ok now we have to reclassify our uh, uh, our uh, slope slope raster for that we will uh, search for a tool that is reclassify Okay, now reclassify. Here yeah, we we'll select the reclassify tools. And in our input raster, we will select our slope. Slope elevation here. And in our classify, we will select the classes will be 10. And in our method, we will select as equal interval. And just click OK. Now, according to our uh, our criteria we have selected that the number one will be the uh, worst, worst, uh, number one will be the worst place and the number 10 will be the uh, best suitable place for the uh, for the selecting uh, for the structure building the schools so we, we we can see there the distance are showing the lowest distance are showing the new values is one and the highest distance is showing the uh, higher values so we we'll just reverse new values and click ok And close it. So this is our new reclassify. You know, in this uh, reclassify raster, in this the ten indicates the most uh, suitable place for the uh, building the school. Uh, for more clear vision, we will change the color of it from here. Let's change it. Change the color. make it red so these are the area where the in the these are the most suitable place to build the school in us okay now we'll do the same thing for our uh, uh, other two roster that is Euclidean distance for uh, recreational and the school uh, we will select again the reclass reclassify tools and here now in input roster we will select the Euclidean distance for schools and classes it again as same as before we will make it 10 classes 
and the method will be same interval equal interval click ok and the reset new values and click ok close ok uh, now do the same things for our uh, recursion equilibrium distance from recursion area in our input raster we will select uh, recursional equation distance Euclidean distance from the equation area in our classify we will select equal interval and our classes will be 10 click ok and reverse new values and click ok okay we have to reclassify for the same way in for the land use so we will go to the reclassify again now in our uh, input raster we will select the land use and in our uh, reclass field we will select land use again and from here in our uh, from here in our uh, our forest will be 4 Agriculture will be 10 and our uh, build up area will be 3 and barrel land will be build up will be 3 and barrel land will be 2 and uh, we will delete our other area that is bush here we delete it and water will be also deleted ok now we are ready to uh, click our operation okay. Now if you just click on OK Now we are in our last step, we will go to the uh, raster calculator Raster calculator In our raster calculator, we will ca uh, calculate the weighted score. For that, we will select our slope, class slope from here into point, uh, class slope into point zero point five plus. Reclass land use. Reclass land use into point zero two five zero point two five ten plus reclass is cool into. The class is cool into zero point one two five, and now we simply click OK. So our raster calculation is done, and uh, we have calculated the weighted score. Okay, now we have to uh, show this in integer. We'll go to the raster calculator again. Now you select our uh, raster slope that we have just. Uh, this is our weighted score, and click. And we want we want to see these values in a integer form. So we'll close this in bracket. And from here we'll select integer. integer and just click ok close so here uh, in our uh, we can see this are reclassified into seven category one two three four five six seven uh, here the five six seven is the most suitable place to build the school in the usa or our in our study area we can simply just change the color of this area 
just make it right to, for our better understanding make it right for our better understanding 4, 5, five 6 and 7 So these are the area that are the most suitable uh, suitable to build a build a new school in our study area. So that's all for today. Uh, we, we will be we will be returned with our new uh, ArcGIS tutorial. Till then, thank you everyone for your kind and uh, for your patience. Thank you all.